Oh, I'm sorry, but this is a matter of life and death. Destiny has sent me here to save the life of the woman I love. Love? There ain't no such thing. Oh, yes, there is. My love's name is Charlie. Now, I've come back in time to try again, to save Charlie. And this time, I will defeat the Brain Man. What's a Brain Man? It's okay. I will make sure he doesn't hurt anybody. I'm the good guy. Good guys wear white hats. Bad guys wear black hats. You mind? Motivation will be key to climbing this mountain, so it's gonna help if you've got somebody else kicking you in the butt. By the time I'm done with you, you're gonna be eating lightning and crapping out thunder. Okay. You're such a bomb. No. You're such a bomb, Dad. Look at me. I'm running around in circles. Woo! Oh, you bomb. Ah. No. Dad, I think there's something wrong with swimming. Okay, Gary, I know what you're thinking. Tell the little kid that the fish is meditating. First off, don't underestimate your child's grief. Dad, I think there's something wrong with swimming. Uh, I guess we'll have to name something else then. How dare you! Taking the time to share in his pain will help to ease it. I know, son. While others may yet swim, there will only be one swimming. Your best bet is to tactfully explain the nature of the wheel in the sky and how it keeps on turning. And now Grandma's feeding swimming. President Lincoln is feeding swimming. Grandma's not dead. After that, help your little guy arrange a tasteful backyard funeral. Your son will get the closure he needs if he's able to say a proper goodbye. Swimming. He was a good fish. He liked swimming. This final tip is fairly self-explanatory. Two words, new fish. Oh, wow. Thanks, Dad. I'll name him Swimmy number two. Well played, Gear. That should take care of that. Dad, I just gave Swimmy to a bath with some real soap. Do you know why I pulled you over? Because you hoped we had donuts? Sorry, um, we don't have any donuts. But with no car? Who will drive me to the center for my treatment? I'm sorry, buddy. It's in God's hands now. How was that? That was perfect. Justin, can't stand to see you like this, so I went down to the Wismart and I hung around the bandage section. <laughs> to listen to clues from other mummies who come to buy new bandages. Very clever, Max. Who's the kid? <laughs> Well, no mummies came by, but I did find something that's just as useful. Go ahead, kid. Tell him what you told me. I've lost me mummy. <laughs> Would you say that you are enjoying yourself and having fun, having a moderate amount of fun and somewhat enjoying yourself, or having no fun and no enjoyment? I'm going to put a lot of fun. Miss No! There's a drunk stuck in the slide. Sir, this, this is a children's slide. You're not allowed to sleep in here. Are you Cameron Day? 
Uh, yeah, buddy. What's your name? Steven. Hi, Steven. I like to watch you play. Hmm. Everybody here knows who you are. They're all talking about you. They are, aren't they? Yeah. So what's up, Steven? My dad says I'm supposed to. It's okay. You can tell me. not know this from his mother ever, but there are a lot of geniuses in our family. There's not. It's so. It's not. Uh, what is going on here? Well, obviously, that little girl is terrorizing my grandson. He just said there's no Easter Bunny. Did you say that, Ben? It's true. My grandma said so. And you know what? There's no Tooth Fairy, no Santa Claus. Lies. All lies. He's going to be president someday. Cut. And we go.